Okay. <laughs> oh, Otis, you were supposed to make our science project look a little worse. This, this looks like it was made by a four-year-old and some raccoons, but not like rabies, root three, or garbage raccoons, like, like petting zoo raccoons, if they have those. Hi, Mr. Planer, remember me? Mm, the girl who's lived down the street for the last 12 years and has the exact same conversation with you almost every day whose name is... Da -da -da -da! Oh, so close. It's looted. But thanks for playing. We've got some lovely parting gifts for you right this way. What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> Build a fort? Seriously? We just broke into a government facility and your big plan is to build a fort? That's, 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 that's a great idea. I'm going to put build a fort on a t-shirt and sell a million of them. I'm going to put build a fort on a t-shirt and sell a million of them and use the proceeds to bail out your scrawny bottoms out of federal prison after you get caught. Oh, come on, Zill. Look at it this way. Getting rejected by a cheerleader is like, is like, is like getting to make out with five or ten less attractive, less popular girls. And, and the fact that she actually read your poem spelled out with french fries? Huh? Huh? Well, in some countries, that'd mean you were married to those five or ten less attractive, popular girls. It's a win-win! You're wonderful, of course. You're brilliant at this. This is like totally in your, in your. Uh, oh, you know, while she's got her headset on, let's talk about that. Um, you know, I am a very big no, no, no about headphones when you're doing animation. You do not use headphones because you do not want to listen to yourselves. So there's very few mediums that headphones should be. I mean, I don't know again if you do. I only put them on because I thought I needed to to hear you. I usually don't. Oh, no, no, and I'm sure you don't. And so okay. as long as you you know that, I just because you had them on, I wanted to point that out, that that is a hugely important piece. Um, with the new paradigm, again, over the last 10 years of not being a voiceover announcer or anything like that, the more you listen to yourself, the more you're self-conscious, the more you're not uh, in the moment, you're not acting, you're not being, you're listening. So there's like very few mediums except maybe promo and trailer where it's okay. Everything else, no headphones. You can go back as the director and listen, but as the actor, you want to be fully in it and you don't want to be 
listening to yourself. You want to be immersed in it. So that was not uh, to you. It was only because you you had a moment <laughs> and, and it hadn't really come up. But I wanted to give that out as one of those tips that if you use it, try not to because you just want to be free of the sound in your, you know, because in real life you don't listen to yourself. But if you are as the voice reactor, you're like, oh, I messed up. You know, I, oh, that didn't sound right. Well, no, do that later. You know, come in. And sometimes you've done something so long, you have to take a 10 minute break just to kind of get yourself like out of like, you know, because you like the, the word the doesn't make sense anymore because like you've said it one too many times, right? Great. But this was so fun and so perfect for you. And I mean, even like in terms of the drawing, like you could kind of <laughs> be her in a cute, wonderful way. But you have such a great awkwardness about you that lends itself so beautifully to these really cute characters that it's just so perfect for you. Um, the only thing I would say is, again, you know, just if you wanted to be more specific, we could we could play in that. I could give you um, just something to play off of and see what comes out of you. Okay. Right? Intentionally, like the first one, you were, um, uh, like, you are a little bit frustrated, like, because, of course, it's, it's in bold and little. You were supposed to make it a little worse. It's like, this looks like you're made by your four-year-old by some raccoon. So like, and then, like, this is like you're going off on him as much as she goes off. It's like you've come up with some, like, and not just any raccoons, right? It's like a, the root in your garbage, like, petting suit raccoons, like, and then it's like you... Like, if they even had those, right? Like, 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 you're, like, you're so off on it, you don't even know where you are anymore. Like, you're on a tangent, right? So this would probably be, like, her, like, building up to her frustration. Okay. And then, like you said, it could be, like, like, you know, like, now you're, like, not even, like, aware of them. You may be just, like, you're on your, like, like, in your own moment. Like, you've lost sight of, like, why you're even mad, you know? Again, okay? just, like, take a, take a turn. Like, you go what? off, right, go off, and then, like, be, like, just it gives a color of, like, who are you? Like, and, you know, so let's just have fun with that. Okay, and then we'll just go with that guy. Say, um, well, how, well, 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 do you like it? Um, Otis, you you were supposed to make our science project look a little worse. <laughs> this looks like it was made by a four year old. Oh, and some raccoons. Oh, but not like rabies, Ruthie, or garbage raccoons. Like like petting zoo raccoons. Right. If they have those. Oh, that's this. Oh, so do you like it? <laughs> I think you're a great friend. <laughs> <laughs> so okay good so good so let's come in again like um maybe you're a little bit more upset like uh, like obviously you're making it a little worse like maybe it was like uh, they made it too good right so it's got a little worse okay so so like let's come in more from a person so like uh so what do you think oh otis you were supposed to make our science project look a little worse. <laughs> this looks like it was made by a four-year-old oh. and some raccoons. Oh. But not like rabies root through your garbage raccoons, like like petting zoo raccoons, if if they have those. Do they have those? <laughs> Good, right? So she goes off on a tangent. Uh, it's like she's, she's annoyed with him, but then it's like she's so interested in herself, like, oh, what, what is that? Like, you know, she's like a little, she's a little too smart for her own good. Good. And it's like, uh, I love what you do with Mr. Plater, but, you know, again, it was really fun. Like, um, you know, I'll just say the Linda, like, um, um, I, I, I'm sorry, who are you? Uh, wait, am I starting from my second line then? Oh, or? no. Hi, Mr. Plater. Right, right, right. right. Okay. I, I, I'm just saying, oh, hello. Hi, Mr. Plater. Remember me? Uh, no. Okay, well, uh, the girl who's lived down the street for the past 12 years and has ex this exact same conversation when we... The... From the beginning. Uh, hello. Hi, Mr. Plainer. remember me? Uh... No, okay. The girl who's lived down the street for the past 12 years and has the exact same conversation with you almost every day, whose name is... Linda? Mm, so close! It's Ludif, but... Thanks for playing. We've got some lovely parting gifts for you right over there. <laughs> good, good. Right? So, you know, she's trying to keep it together. Like, okay, take the wind out of her sails, right? But she's one of, all right, let's just try it again. Like, this time she's got, got she's like, looks like almost on the verge of crying, but she will not. Okay. Right? She's like, so like, uh, like, you're like, like, just, okay. Uh, yes? Hi. Mr. Plainard, remember me? No. No. The, the girl who's lived down the street for the last 12 years and has this exact same conversation with you almost every day, whose name is... Alinda? Oh, it's so close. It's Ludith, but...
thanks for playing. We've got some lovely parting gifts for you. Oh. <laughs> right, so it again. I love all the other ones. Like, thanks for playing. Like, you could just like still have fun with it, but you know, there's levels of frustration. You could just play with it. But this is the whole idea. You're so good. You just like see what works. Okay. Um, again, to make sure that one color is juxtaposition next to the other color, right? So, um, so this one would be like, oh. So this is like, okay, this is one of those times where like they have the most cockamamie stupid ideas, and you're like, uh, but again. We don't want to go all the way to the top. We want somewhere to go. So let's start small and find our way up so that at the end it does have an impact. Okay. I know. Let's build a fort. Build a fort? Uh-huh. Seriously? We just broke into a government facility and your big plan is to build a fort? Oh, that's, that's, that's a great idea. I'm going to put build a fort on a t-shirt and sell... I'm going to put build a fort on a t-shirt and sell a million of them and use the proceeds to bail your scrawny bottoms out of federal prison after you get caught. So you don't like the idea? No! <laughs> good, good, great. So now, let's put the scenario in that you cannot be heard above a whisper because we could get caught. Okay, so let's see what that changes okay. like. Okay, I know. We're in here. Let's build a fort. Build a fort? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. But, but we just broke into a government facility, and your big plan is to build a fort. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wow, that's, that's a great idea. I'm going to put build a fort on a bunch of t-shirts and sell them and use the proceeds to bail your scrawny bottoms out of federal prison after you get caught. So you don't like it? Oh. <laughs> Good, right? The play, great. So who knows what we say, but but you see how it changed. Even again, could do it, but just to change the level, right? That just like you're in a different scenario. So you just gave him like your brilliance, but now you gave them a brilliance like you're even like in a different scenario that just changes the color. Yeah, because you whispered it. Um, right. Okay, because right, this is like you're gonna be the best pep talker of you know like the nerd city of like. I I just feel like they didn't like me. She just, I liked her so much. Oh, come on, Zill. I mean, look at it this way. Getting rejected by a cheerleader is like, like getting to make out with five or, or ten less attractive, less popular girls. And the fact that she read your poem spelled out in French fries? Yeah! Well, in, in some other countries, I'm... Pretty sure of it, that, that'd mean you're actually married to those five or ten less attractive, less popular girls. Well, when you put it that way... Yeah! <laughs> good! <laughs> right, good! So, yeah, so, like, let's, like, you know, wind her up, like, uh, like, oh, come on, Zill, it's like, uh... Get, and, and because it hits, uh, is, again, emphasize rejected. Um, it's to make out. So, like, they definitely emboldened that word, so make sure, like, you honor that, right? Um, so like you're coming up with them a plan and like you're like the cheer the chipper cheerleader and you're just bullshitting as you go along and it's just like coming off the top of your head so you like maybe you like even search for it a little bit you know okay. just like okay uh, I I feel so re rejected by this this girl you know how much I liked her oh c come on Zill look at it this way uh -huh. getting rejected by a cheerleader is like getting to make out with five or ten. Less attractive, slightly less popular girls. Oh. And the fact that she actually read your poem spelled out in French fries? Yeah! Well, in some countries, probably that'd mean you are, you are married to these five or ten slightly less attractive, less popular girls. No way! Yeah! I love it! Awesome! <laughs> Great job, right? But just like so fun to play. <laughs> And then you could just see, like, again, you had so much there going for it, but, like, the whole conversation changes it, right? Mm -hmm. So, again, you're so you know, brilliant. you got to play both parts and create that for yourself, and it's going to, like, come to life. But this is so in your ballpark. Great job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>